everyone welcome to jgk master class guys in this video we are going to calculate and solve standard deviation variance and coefficient of variance this topic i have taken from analytical chemistry of msc chemistry and also solved csir ugc net previous years question based on the above topic this topic is not only important for msc students but also for bsc 11th and class 12th students irrespective of chemistry maths and physics as this topic is common for all so any student those who are preparing for any competitive exam you can see questions on this topic and you can watch the video first we will start with the first question this question i have taken from the bcu university the one of the previous year question paper where they have given you the standard deviation and variance they are asking you to calculate the, the data is given to you here so five uh, total number of data is eight you can see the measurements are given here so we need to calculate the standard deviation and variance first we will see the formula of the standard deviation this is a formula of the standard deviation you can note it down in your notebook the easiest and correct way to solve the standard deviation here sigma x is uh, individual you can say x is the individual value in the sample so we have to do uh, and uh, find the calculation of sigma x here sigma x is square also we will do and find the calculation n is the number of measurement in the sample so first step is you have to first calculate the sum of x that is each individual value you have to write it down do the summation of it we will get the value of sigma x or summation of x the next step is summation of x square so what you are supposed to do here do the individual measurement square and write it down like 5.12 whole square you will get the value 26.2144 and so on you have to do it and then do the summation of it you will get the value of sigma x square put the values in the above formula so in this first solve 41.09 whole square whatever value you will get divided by 8 the value which you get it subtract it from 211.0535 and then divide it by 7 you will get the value here the standard deviation is now 0 0.0267 normally we represent after decimal four places value in analytical results so this is the answer for the above question the next question or in the same question they are also asking you to find out the value of variance variance is nothing but the square of standard deviation so first you have to calculate the standard deviation do the square of it find out the value of variance you will get 0 0.0007 as a result for variance so in this way you may have calculated both the standard deviation and variance for the first problem the second problem is again you can notice here the sample data is given and they are asking you to calculate the standard deviation and coefficient of variation so basically standard deviation we have just now solved you can use the same formula to solve it you can pause the video solve it and verify your answer after watching the video coefficient of variance is slightly different from variance so we will see the formula and the steps to solve it standard deviation same formula same steps calculate summation of x then summation of x square put the value in the above formula and find the value of the standard deviation 0 0.0622 you can check your answer the next is coefficient of variance again noted down this formula in your notebook that is cv is equal to s divided by x bar in 200 here s is the sample standard deviation x bar is the sample mean so we have already calculated the sum of x in the uh, just now uh, by calculating the standard deviation so it was 360.76 then divide by the number of sample that is 6 you will get the value of x bar that is 60.1267 so find the value of coefficient value or coefficient of variance put the values in the above formula you will get your answer for coefficient of variance that is 0 0.1034 so in this way we have solved the second problem as well and this is the way you can solve all the three when the question comes on the above topic now we will see some question from the csi ugc net chemical science 
So basically, uh, I'll just uh, since I have taken uh, two questions from the part B, I have noticed on the standard deviation. So part B in CSI UGC net carries total questions 40, where you have to attempt total 35 questions, carrying 70 marks means two marks for each question. So basically, two marks will be there for each question in this part B with negative marking. So we will see now one question from CSIR net December 2017, part B, question number 54. Repeated measurements of lead in a lake water sample is given here. Standard deviation, they are asking you to calculate. Four options are there and just now we have uh, solved standard deviation. Use the same steps and formula. Find the correct answer. I have already highlighted here the correct answer. You can also check it. Solution you can see now. Same formula we have learned. S is equal to under root summation of x square minus sum of x whole square divided by n divided by n minus 1. First is find the value of sum of x and then find the value of sum of x square. Then put the value in the above formula. You will get the value of standard deviation that is 4 ppb parts per billion. And so our options 2 is correct here. The next problem on the above topic I have seen in December 2019 part B, question number 29. Here again, the, some sample data is given to you and they are asking you to calculate average value and standard deviation. So first answer here represent the average value. The second answer is for the standard deviation. So you, you can find the both the answers actually you can solve it we have just now solved in the previous problems you can pause the video and solve it yourself you can find the correct answer solution you can see here average value means they are asking to find the mean x bar that is sum of x divided by n sum of x means the data which is given to you do the sum find the value of sum of x divided by n n is here total sample is 5 you will get the value for mean that is average value 197 so in the question option 2 and option 3 are having 197 so option 1 and 4 is ruled out now we will see the standard deviation same formula same steps find the sum of x find the sum of x square put it in the value you will get the standard deviation here 4 and so out of four option two and three among the two and three option two is the correct answer and in this way you can solve any question comes to you on the above topic either in CSIR net examination or gate IIT jam or even if you are preparing for IIT JE or NEET you can solve this question I hope you have learned this formulas and the video is helpful for you if you feel that the video is very useful to you, please like the video, subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button. Share it with your friends and please, please, please do write your comments in the comment section. Either your suggestions or if you want me to solve any other questions based on any competitive exam like you can ask me since our channel is based on chemistry, either class 11, 12, BSc, MSc or the CSIR aspirants, gate aspirants or any other competitive aspirants can write your suggestions and doubts in the comment section. So see you in the next video. Thank you. Mm -hmm.